Introduction As we already know that plants do not have a nervous system and sense organs like eyes, ears or nose like the animals have. Yes, but they can still sense things like light, gravity, chemicals, water and touch by actions of hormones on them. So we can say that plants can sense the presence of stimuli and respond to them. We can also say that the hormones in plants coordinate their behavior by affecting the growth of a plant. Yes, and the effect on growth of the plant can result in the movement of a part of a plant like root or stem. The plants respond to various stimuli very slowly by growing. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to understand coordination in plants, find out immediate response to stimulus, understand movement due to growth, find out hormones in plants, study photoperiodism and flowering, find out hormones in animals, and understand structure and functions of endocrine glands. Coordination in plants. Plants lack nervous and muscular system. Plants respond to stimuli by showing two types of movements, growth independent and growth dependent. Growth independent movements are usually quicker than growth dependent ones and involve the use of electrochemical signals by the plant. Example. Drooping of leaves of a touch-me-not plant when it is touched. Immediate response to stimulus. The movement of plants in the direction of stimulus is known as tropism. Tropic movements are shown in response to environmental factors such as light, gravity, water and chemicals. Growth-dependent movements or tropic movements are slow, occurring either towards or away from the stimulus. Phototropism is directional movement of a plant, plant part, in response to light. Example. Shoots show positive phototropism. Plant roots are negatively phototropic, whereas plant shoots are positively phototropic. Geotropism is directional movement of a plant, plant part, in response to gravity. Example, roots show positive geotropism. Plant roots are positively geotropic, whereas plant shoots are usually negatively geotropic. Chemotropism is directional movement of a plant or plant part in response to chemicals. Example, growth of the pollen tube towards the ovule. Hydrotropism is movement of a part of a plant in response to water. Example, roots. Movement due to growth. When a tendril comes in contact with the support, then the part of the tendril away from the support grows more rapidly than the part of the tendril that is in contact with the object. Thus, the tendril circles around the object and appears to cling to it.
Hormones in Plants Plant hormones or phytohormones are chemical substances produced naturally by plants. They are capable of being translocated and regulate to one or more physiological processes when present in low concentrations. Plant hormones and their functions are as given in table. Photoperiodism and flowering. Flowering in a plant occurs at a particular time of the year and is controlled by factors like photoperiod and temperature. The response of plants to the relative lengths and alternations of light and dark periods with regard to initiation of flowering is called photoperiodism. It was discovered by Garner and Allard in 1920. On the basis of photoperiod, plants are of three types. Short-day plants, long-day plants, day-neutral plants. Short-day plants require longer dark period for flowering. Example, tobacco, rice, dahlia. Long-day plants require longer light period for flowering. Example, wheat, oat, radish, lettuce. Day neutral plants are not dependent on photoperiod for flowering. Example, tomato, sunflower. Hormones in animals. The term hormone was introduced by Bayliss and Starling. The hormones in animals are produced by the endocrine glands and are chemical substances that control and coordinate activities of living organisms and also their growth. Animal hormones do not bring about directional growth depending on environmental cues but promote controlled growth in various areas to maintain the body design. Animal hormones and their functions and deficiency diseases are as given in table. Endocrine glands there are a number of endocrine glands which differ from one another in their location, structure, as well as in the hormones secreted by them and their functions. Endocrine system is formed of a number of endocrine glands and control and coordinates the body functions through their specific chemical secretions called hormones. Did you know, thyroid gland is the largest endocrine gland of the human body. Deficiency of thyroxine in infants causes cretinism characterized by reduced physical, mental and sexual growth. Deficiency of iodine in the diet causes goiter, which is characterized by swollen neck. Adrenaline is also called emergency hormone or triple F hormone. Pituitary gland is commonly known as master gland. Deficiency of growth hormone GH causes dwarfism while its excess causes gigantism. Deficiency of insulin causes diabetes. Summary let us summarize what we have learned. Plants do not only respond to light, but show tropisms in response to other stimuli as well. 
Phytohormones are of different types. Auxin, gibberellins, cytokinin, abscissous acid, and ethylene. Flowering and seed germination in plants are regulated by the duration of light. This is known as photoperiodism. Phototropism is the movement of the body parts of plants in relation to direction of light stimuli. Geotropism is the movement of the body parts of plants in relation to gravitational pull of the earth. Hydrotropism is the movement of the body parts of plants in the direction of water. Endocrine system is formed of endocrine or ductless glands whose secretions are called hormones. Thyroid gland secretes thyroxine hormone and its deficiency causes cretinism. Parathyroid secretes PTH which regulates calcium phosphorus balance inside the body. Adrenal glands secrete two hormones, corticoids, and adrenaline. Hypothalamus secretes releasing hormones which regulate hormonal secretions from anterior lobe of pituitary. Pancreas also secretes two hormones, insulin and glucagon, which regulate glucose level in blood. Testes secrete testosterone and ovaries secrete estrogen and progesterone.